Up out of it and all that. Roll your window up. Cut the headlights off here. Oh, you know how to cut the headlights off? Cut the headlights off. Yeah. How do you do it? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
First, we gotta get it grinded down. Then we gotta get it built up. And then once we get it built up, we can sand our lines in there, get our lines all, all crisp and nice. And then we can shoot some black back over it. Try not to paint the whole thing. I don't want to paint the fenders and all that. What I'm trying to do, I'm gonna get that knocked out, get this knocked out, and I wanna blend it. Like I'm gonna, I'm gonna paint, and I'm gonna end up clearing the whole thing, but I'm, the whole black, I don't wanna change the whole color of the black of it, because you know, there are different shades of black. So what I'll do, I'll get a black, I'll get this thing shot and get it close, and I'll come in here and uh, we'll blend the spot there and we'll blend that in, and then we'll scuff it and we'll clear the whole thing. See, we also got some damage up here. He did a good number on it right here. We gotta fix that crack. We gotta fix the crack up there on the edge. Get it back looking right. So we'll get it. It's gonna take some time. It's gonna be a little bit of work. It's gonna be a lot of work, honestly, to get it right, right. But it's gonna look good when we get done with it. So I got a little revelation. So this thing's been hard to spool. So we added the dump valve. I got the check in and my wire going to my dump valve was broke didn't realize it and i also didn't have it on a relay because see this output used to be for my shift light well i ended up i got it where my screen tells me to shift now but i took the shift light out and i had just hooked it up there i didn't think about it not being on a relay till just now so i'm in here testing it listen so y'all wish me luck let's see if we can fire this thing up in just a second and see what it'll do see if it'll actually help it come up on the braking so if i'm gonna warm it up i'll be right back with you Hi guys, I've done a DOD on this thing. These uh, Chevrolets are notorious for the lifters chattering and stuff on them and going bad. So we've done a DOD, changed the cam out, the lifters, put new head gaskets, new lifter trays, all that stuff on it. We're averaging about 14.8, 14.9 per gallon or whatever, way over here. This thing runs good, but it, I hate the freaking way DODs feel. Like the throttle response, if you just, Riding in the road and it's kicking in the DOD. You gotta kick it. See how long it takes it to react? Watch it right here. It just takes it forever. So I'm getting Nigel to turn around and uh, flash the tune. Let's see how much miles per gallon. See if it, see if it gains or whatever with the tune and flashing it versus what it is now. It's driving along. So 14.8 to 15 O is about where it's been at. I'm getting the flash DC, cut the DOD off in it now that I've done the cam and the lifters. Let's just see what it does. Hopefully my phone don't die, but look, about 15.7. My phone died. That thing ended up getting about 15.7 to 16 miles per gallon. So it picked up about a mile to mile and a half overall, driving the same distance, same throttle speed, coming back the same roads. So some roads are uphill, some downhill, but it definitely picked up. Throttle response, phenomenal. You hit the gas in it, it goes. Customer will be real happy with it. And they, uh, the DOD, when you do the DOD deletes, they, they freaking drive a ton better. But I ended up, uh, talking about my car here. My car ended up going through and it still struggles on the brake. Once Nigel gets it on the dyno and tunes it, and works on i think it'll be better because i added some fuel to it and it helped a lot so uh, i'm sitting here in the car now dennis hampton jr he uh he's our tech guy at shady side and uh he's always asking about the safety neutral switches being hooked up you know your belts being in date which i gotta go replace my belts before thursday because the date on my belt is july of 19. So basically they ran out, <clears throat> they ran out right, or June, June of 19. So they ran out this year. So we gotta go ahead and update those. But he also asked us about the safety neutral switch. Are they hooked up? Are they hooked up? Every time we go, he asks everybody about their safety neutral switch and getting them hooked up. And if you look, it's in park. If I got through and uh, crank, it'll crank right there, but look at this. If I pull it down in gear, nothing nothing but if i put this thing up in park so there you 
there you go. No more uh, asking about that. Or if he asks you about it, we'll have it at least hooked up. So it's good. It was simple. I just had to take the wire that comes to the ignition that fed outside and just cut it. And it has like a little micro switch that goes down in there. I split it, run one wire in here, and then run one to the starter. And that way, uh, well, what I did, I cut it, butt connected, run it, hooked it, put a spade connector on it, done the other way, sent it. So we're going to be good. Like I said, we got all that hooked up now, so I need to go to the SRI tomorrow, pick up seat belts, and then figure out when Nigel's going to tune it, we'll be good to go. So as long as it does get on the dyno Thursday, we'll be there if it ain't raining. Anyways, I'm going to go to jujitsu. I got class tonight. So anyways, please like, share, subscribe, and comment. I'll see you one later. Thanks.